This is me at Mount Grace Priory with the History First Years, about to go in and visit a 11th, 16th century Cistercian Abbey. This is a stately home on which the ruins, or on whose property the ruins are located. I'll go out to the actual prior in a moment. There was a drone in the 16th century. This is a drone's eye view of Mount Grace Priory. As it would have been. Hello. Hi. Thank you. I understand the family has left names or That's the heights right, and things, yeah. is that right? Well, this space is very much was created in when Lothian Bell refurbished the house around about 1900 because he actually re-roofed it and made the rooms. And um, we have, um, in 1927, Lady Bell put on a pageant in the grounds of the Priory and that's the subject of a little film we have in there, which you might want to look at or, or wait till it comes around again. And if we come along here, that's first. Sorry. Here we've got a picture of three children who we will spot in, in the, in the uh, oh. film. You have to be careful. <laughs> Learn the hard way. This way. Yeah, I was just pointing out the children you might have spotted them oh, in the film. Right, yeah. And when they came to stay here, they put their, their heights on the wall here. Oh. Yeah, so. These are children of the family, Nora, Hugh and John. Hugh and John were brothers. Hugh eventually inherited the estates and the title. Uh, Nora was their cousin. But they obviously had a bit of a competition going mm -hmm. with uh, recording their heights. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> There's other material about the Bell family. She, um, she was able to tell us. Right, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. And, uh, he also, unfortunately, also decided to um, demolish their original family house, which he wasn't using. Which was rather a shame because it was not. So I said it was um, Cistercian. It's not Cistercian, it's Carthusian. A Carthusian abbey. Different branch. All the rule of St. Benedict. There you go. Just walking around the grounds. Take a few pictures of these decaying walls. Quite as impressive as Fountains or Revo. A bit smaller scale, but lovely nonetheless. On this beautiful, beautiful sunny day. And here's me at Mount Grace Priory 
uh, Carthusian Abbey, 11th to 16th century, English heritage site with the Teesside University first year students. As many times as I've been here and taken pictures of the place, I have never actually done a video of it. And really, pictures can't do it justice. Even the video is not really showing you what it really looks like. This is one of my favorite sites at Mount Grace. We'll just have a look in here. I think this tree must have been old enough to have been a sapling. It must be old enough to have been a sapling when the monks were here. Quite impressive. Nothing quite like it. Uh, have a little walk through the ruins, I think. We're in the area now where the monks had their cells. They were all individual houses where they could go into isolation um, for extended periods of time. I'll go into one of those in just a moment and it's been reconstructed as you can see. inside some of the ruined cells and this is one of my favorite spots here if I don't fall down getting to it a little wellhead where no doubt the monks got some water got the main source of water quite possibly have a quick look over here so like I say this structure which behind us is mountain or hill and wood this little well main source of their fresh water so this is another ruined or a series of ruined cells. Over there is the reconstructed one, 
which we shall go into just now. So here's a loom for making cloth, spinning wheel to make thread from wool, and a chest to store the final products. And there's a privy. Some of these would have been medicinal, a lot of them would be for food, self-sustaining. So all the little cells had something like this. I'm not going to disturb that spider web, but um, so that food could be put in and the dishes, I suppose, sent out uh, and any goods that they produced like cloth or uh, writings that were transcribed um, could, without the person living in the house, the monk having to interact with anyone. Uh, useful during <clears throat> during COVID-19.
idyllic little village of Oz Motherway. Golden Line Pub, Oz Motherland. 